Hi everybody, I'm Val. Today we will be talking about the latest addition to the Waves family of live system plugins, the super helpful utility tool called X Feedback. As you can probably guess from its name, X Feedback is intended to help front of house and monitor engineers get rid of that pesky evil sound that we call feedback. Audio feedback occurs when a sound loop is created between the microphone and the loudspeaker. When the microphone hears the loudspeakers, the same sound will be amplified again and again, resulting in an audible squeal or swell sound that we call feedback. The feedback frequency is determined by several things. The frequency response of the microphone and the loudspeaker, the acoustics of the room, the directional patterns of the microphone and the loudspeaker, and the distance between them. There are a few devices out there that tackle the issue with varying degree of success. Based on our live experience, we decided to approach the issue from a different angle. X Feedback is made to assist sound engineers to optimally prepare the stage monitors, or PA, prior to sound check. In the live sound lingo, the process is called ringing out. Usually the ringing out process is lengthy and annoying. The process requires identifying feedback sensitive frequencies and cutting offending frequencies from the stage monitors or PA. In most cases, it's pretty hard to precisely identify the offending frequency as well as the correct cue and amplitude required to eliminate the issue. In addition, in many situations, especially when ringing out stage monitors, two engineers are required to perform the process. Usually one engineer would agitate the monitor with the lead vocal microphone, while the other will drive the console's EQ or outboard. X Feedback dramatically simplifies and speeds up the ringing out process by precisely identifying offending frequencies and cutting them with exact Q and amplitude. Additional X Feedback features include the ability to globally adjust the Q and amplitude, manually adding, deleting, and adjusting filters, as well as adding one additional filter to an existing curve without destroying what's already been done. It's very important to emphasize that X Feedback is designed for ringing out the wedges or PA before sound check. Let's go over the controls of the X Feedback plugin. One of the main controls is the setup switch. This switch activates the plugin's detection engine. The engine will turn off after one minute, as you can see in the countdown bar. We do not recommend running setup during a live show. Although X Feedback has the smarts to differentiate between complex harmonic sounds and actual feedback, it cannot distinguish between, let's say, the electric guitar feedback that guitarists love so much and undesired feedback from the vocal microphone. The add, push, and hold button detects a single feedback frequency and adds one more filter to the existing curve on top of what's already been done. Reset button resets all existing filters. Filter indicators will turn on in order of engagement. After setup, each filter's parameters, cut Q and frequency, can be adjusted by the plus and minus buttons or entered manually. You can also add a new filter manually by clicking the plus button. Each filter can be turned on or off by clicking the on button or by double clicking on the filter indicator. Any filter can be deleted by selecting the filter indicator and clicking the delete button. You can also use the arrows to navigate between filters or drag the selector bar. On the right bottom corner, you have the global controls. You can globally adjust Q and amplitude to all existing filters. Q and amp will have a red circle around them if the controls are not in default position. Gain out adjusts the overall output volume of the X Feedback plugin. The link control lets you adjust global amplitude and gain output simultaneously, but in opposite directions.
A few words about the setup. We will be running X feedback within Waves Emotion LV1 Live Mixer. For the stage demo, we will be using a remote desktop application on my tablet to control X feedback from the stage. X feedback is inserted on left right master out if used for the front of house and on aux outs if used for the monitors. Let's demo the X feedback at front of house position. We have three microphones set up on stage. They are open and hot. What we're trying to do is to get a little bit of the headroom. During the show, we probably will uh, raise the master a few dB up. So let's see what happens when we raise the master right now. Basically, as you can hear, raising the master output by 6-7 dB already creates uh, quite painful feedback that we cannot tolerate during the show. So, what we're going to do is activate the detection engine of the X-Feedback. X-Feedback is going to react to the uh, feedback sounds and going to cut it precisely with the proper amplitude and Q. Let's activate the engine. Let's raise the gain output of the X feedback. Should be enough. We can turn it off. As you see, X feedback reacted to the actual feedback sounds found them and cut them precisely. Let's check the result by raising the master again by 6, 7 dB. As you can hear, everything is nice and quiet and ready for our show. Okay, let's ring the stage monitors. First, I'm gonna unmute the monitor. Actually, the mic is uh, open in, uh, in the wedges and the mic is pretty hot, as you're gonna hear it in, in a few. So let's unmute it. Okay, and I'm gonna talk a little bit into the mic. Hey, yeah, are you, as you can hear, it's uh, quite ringy already at this point. All right, all of this has to go. So what we're gonna do is activate the, again, the setup. Basically, we're going to activate the detection engine I'm going to play with the mic. Um, X feedback going to jump to the uh, feeding back frequencies and going to cut it out. Let's, uh, let's do it. Let's activate the engine. Okay, we can take the microphone off the stand. Point it towards the monitor just a little bit. Okay, this looks pretty good. Stop the engine. Let's hear it. One, two, 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 two. Hey, hey. Sounds pretty clean. Let's actually compare it. This is without X feedback. Everything is back. And here's X feedback on. Hey, hey, one, two, one, two, one, two. Sounds nice and clear. And we're ready for sound check. Thank you for your attention. I think Waves X feedback plugin will be great addition to your toolbox. Hear no evil, and have a great show.